Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft. It would help if I actually clicked on the right button. Uh, back to Minecraft, back to it. I actually did get some work done today in the world. So let me, let's go right over and I'll show you what I've been working on. So, I have, first of all, started to kind of fill in. Um, I might actually not completely destroy the swimming pool. What I might do is open it up to the actual river and put like a little dock here. So that's a thing I might end up doing. I've just been kind of uh, filling in the coastline a little bit, made it a little bit easier to get over to our uh, mine. I've also been kind of uh, sh uh, shoveling out and trying to figure out uh, how much we're going to take out, uh, how much of the world we're going to destroy. So if you come up here, uh, you can see, let me turn hover mode on, where I've started kind of hollowing out here. This is going to be kind of where we uh, start digging. So all the way down here, I started clearing out trees. Uh, back this way, and I haven't figured out, what I haven't gotten to yet to figure out is how far forward here we're going. That is the thing that I still definitely need to work on. So that is what I've been doing for the last hour or so. Um, actually just trying to get some stuff uh, pre-done. Um, so come in here, we charged up the ore. Charge up this, because it's almost dead. Um, power production is produ power production is proceeding nicely. And other things that it's hard to say. So you can see we're, uh, I mean, obviously we're pulling, we're going down now because it's trying to charge a jetpack, but we can, um, you can see it's definitely, see, yep. this just delivered a little bit more, so we can, So we're getting there. We are getting there. I'd like to actually try and upgrade the flux bore one more because then we can do five by five and that's gonna be like super efficient for what we're trying to do. All right. So we've got power. I know we need to work on um, the other power thing, but for right now, uh, we're really doing a good job of figuring out just how big this compound's going to be. And like I said, we'll probably put this. Probably needs to move. Uh, we'll probably put. We'll probably open this up to the main river, take out this part right here. Whoa, we're gonna let the water bounce us all over the place. We may actually need some water source blocks at some point to do this. I'm hoping that if we contact, if we make contact with the river, then that we can be, yeah, that's just what I was hoping for. I want water coming in from both sides. So just get an idea of what I'm going after here is to actually 
it's almost like I'm building a little driveway coming off the river. Since the river is kind of our main source of transport at the moment, And like I said, we're probably going to need to put some water source blocks in at some point. As a matter of fact, I'm almost certain we're going to need to put some water source blocks in at some point. But I want to open this completely up. to the river. And then we'll add water source blocks where we need to add water source blocks to get the effect we want. Because right now we're just going to get like a waterfall until the water runs out of places to be. But I can definitely fix this later in post, as it were. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I don't have my jet, my jet pack. That's right, I'm charging the jet pack. It'll get rid of some of these wacky currents. Uh, okay, I need another axe. Probably take out this tree right here. Not entirely sure how I did that, but that's cool. All right, so I'll yeah, we'll probably take out that tree. Actually, we'll probably take this little uh, take this tree out, and we'll probably take this area out as well. Alrighty. So that'll get us, yeah, we'll take this whole island out and that'll get us a nice, we'll put a little dock and we'll put a little gate into our compound, which means we're probably going to want to start, we're going to take out this whole mountain, which is going to be, which is probably a terrible idea, but Hey, whatever. So we'll probably start here. Um, which gate here? Like I said, we're gonna build this really co cool looking, uh, like compound. And it's gonna take some time, but that's I've never done a big build like this. I've only ever really done um build at the base and then play with stuff. So charting new territory, which is kind of where I want to be and what I want to be doing here. So that's pretty awesome. All right. So one, two, three. I think um, that might work. Got a little bit of fuel. All right, so this is going up again, which means our jetpack's probably completely done charging. So we're almost to the point where it's going to be full. That's awesome. Um, all right, so I need a magma crucible and two fractionating stills. And then I need probably, I'll need something to put stuff in or I could actually I could theoretically put them back here too behind the that actually might not be a bad idea put them back here I think that the fuel production should go in here 
I mean, maybe coal coke should have gone in there too, but that's going to power other things that are not. Yeah, jetpack is charged. I have not had a chance to look into um, item duct and input buffers yet, but uh, that might be that we will work on that. So we've got our kitchen. We put some berries in the fridge. Got lots of things in the fridge. I put these drawers back up to hold on to stuff just because it was getting to the point where I needed oodles and oodles of storage. So our storage is looking good. Um, lots going on here. All right, so let's solve. What problems do we want to solve? There are a lot of problems to solve at the moment. Because um, I also want to get into making, um, how do I make, um, so what do we need? We want a signalum. We want signalum, which needs redstone. I also need this stuff. Petrothium dust, which means basalt powder. Um, there is a way to make this with oh, there's a way to make this with um experience. Um. I think it's I think it's powdered obsidian with liquid experience in a fluid transposer. I think that's exactly how it works. Uh, we're gonna need some place to put all these machines. We're gonna have to start. We're gonna have to start another building. Uh, yeah, we're and we're gonna need a metric ton of power. So let's let's solve power. Let's do that. Um, okay, so I need a magma crucible. Okay, so what do I, all right, so I need machine frame, which means I need a tin gear. Oop. Machine frame. And I keep putting stuff back in. All right, I need two copper gears. I need a redstone reception coil, which actually I think I might have. And nether bricks. Oh, so I need to cook. I need to cook some nether rack. All right, cook. I'm gonna go put be the. this. Plug it away, plug it away. I probably should put a back door in my house at some point. Yeah, we're gonna... We might make the uh, workshop just a weird shape. Might be like long. Throw these in the system. And we have a magma crucible. Okay, I need good I'm gonna need flux duct to run power to all this. Um all right, and I need a fractionating still. 
Okay, so I need Constantin, which is what blend? Um, Constantin blend is a copper and a nickel. Yes, I'm writing it down because I'm going to go over and pulverize stuff. Oh, I guess is it day. Is it actually daytime? I guess it's. Why is it so dark? It's showing as daytime. Why is it so dark? I don't understand. Minecraft, please. Um. Okay. So, oops. I need metal. Yeah, we need to solve. Um. It is not daytime. It is not. It is in no way, shape, or form daytime. I'm not sure what you're thinking, Minecraft, but it is in no way, shape, or form daytime. Okay, we need to go looking for, I think, nickel. Yeah, we're going to need nickel. Oh, neat. Was that an eclipse? Did an eclipse just happen? Yeah, I think, did an eclipse just happen? I know that's a thing that can happen with like astral sorcery and stuff being installed. So maybe it's pretty cool if it is. Um, let's, all right. Auto input, auto output. Pulverize. Which I think I only need four. And give me eight. I think that's what I need. And hopefully, once you get up to a certain point, um, it doesn't kick out of Okay, that's good. Okay. All right. Ooh, I might actually need two more. I feel like I'm going to need, um, is it ingots that I needed? Um, yeah. All right, we might need to do a spot of mining. Machine frame. Glass. Yeah, we might need to go resource hunting. All right, fractionating still. I need another one of those. Yeah, we're gonna actually take a quick trip to the mines. Um, I have, okay. So the magma crucible is gonna have to go here, fractionating still here, uh, fractionating still here. Actually, if I put them over here. Because I also have to figure out how to run um, power into them. All three of these machines need power. But if I do it here, if I do it here, if I put the, do it here. 
Um, I mean, obviously I'm going to run power under. That's like a given. Is that I'm going to be running power underneath to them. But then I can run um, right into here. Nice. But yeah, that is, I think, exactly what I'm going to do. Actually, what I think I'm even going to do to make it make even more sense. Now I can put a chest here. One, I can pull it this way, and then I can put a chest here for input. Um, and then I can... That way, uh, I have some place for it to go. Oh, sweet. We're almost there. Uh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's, we need, torches. Now it's actually sunset. So yeah, I like think we had, I think we legitimately had an eclipse in Minecraft, which is kind of cool. Um, Uh, where did, oh, there they are. So I know I had a bunch of torches. Okay, I do not need my jetpack on for mining. I'm gonna need a new helmet pretty soon. Throw that in there, throw that in there. Um, torches, satchel, we'll take the flux board just in case. We were only doing a couple of hammers worth, so hopefully. So this should be super way, yeah, this is super way easier to get over here. I already like this better just because it's so much easier to get over here. We should get into the mining dimension. That is a thing that I could do today. Because then we can also get started farming um, various mobs because that is a great place to go and farm mobs. Because it's huge and it's flat, and so you'll see what I mean. Uh, let's do a spot of mining. Oh, uh, I've got, oh, I did not actually repair my shovel. So that's not actually helpful. I mean, we'll always take coal. And as long as we're down here not using power, uh, our, our system can catch up a little bit. Iron. Lead. Probably should have used my fortune pick there. Kind of really got to pay attention to what I'm doing sometimes. Oh, please, nickel. I need nickel so bad. That's silver. Yay, we found some. Excellent. Ooh, four pieces. Awesome. Okay, we'll get to that when we get. Um... All right. So that'll help us build. We want lapis. Badly. Oh, hey, 
This one needs to be, we can cuddle down here too. Let's finish out this side. Pickle ore. All right, this is gonna be counted as a success because we're gonna get what we came for and then some. All that redstone's helpful too, because um, we're gonna need lapis to bump these up to fortune two. Right on. Uh, lead, because we need, we're gonna be building more lead stone here in the not too terribly distant future. Uh, this, because we're gonna be getting into, woo, diamonds. Ooh, nice big. All right, nice big diamond, eight, nice big pocket of eight diamonds. Take that all day and night. All right, we have our satchel. So let's put that in there, that in there, um, that in there. How much nickel did we find? Six, okay. Which should be good for what, like 12? Since I'm doubling ore, that'll be good for 12 ingots. Which is pretty awesome. All right, hey, more, sweet. All right, unfortunately only one. What's up, that's salt. That's salt. Grab some of this before we head back up. Oh, I missed vein mining. That's where you hit tilde and it'll mine the whole thing all at once. So that entire vein, it'll, it'll mine all identical blocks at once. So the entire vein of coal would get mined. It's <laughs> like so many things in modded, it's super hacks. Modded really spoils you, by the way. You go back to play vanilla and you're like, but I want ore doubling and I want this and I want that. I want middle button sort. What the? Oh, okay, that's... Attempt to pay attention to where we are on the map. I mean, we have the map. Again, giant hacks. Compared to having, you know, setting a waypoint in vanilla is basically writing a set of coordinates down on a post-it note and posting it on your computer desk. All right. Um, so this way, I think, is out. Yeah, this is out. All right, so we can build, oop. Because we're gonna get into actually additions here in the not too terribly distant future because we're gonna wanna liquefy experience, which means we need solid experience, which means we need stuff from AA. So that's a thing.
fill in I'm gonna fill in some of this. I'll like leave the caverns and leave an entrance, but I'm gonna fill it in a little bit. God, that's such a mess. Actually. Metal processing. I want to process the nickel first, and the silver, and then the iron, and then the lead. Um, um, yeah, that's all the actual ore. Oh, we should have probably grabbed a couple pieces. We need obsidian. All right, let's go feed the Feed me, feed the Jenny. Because it's gonna be using power at the moment. Did we get any? Yay, we get and we get two platinums, right on. RNG is faring us, fair, is, is being nice to us for once. That'll change, I'm sure. We're not going to count on that happening. All right. Um, I think I need to make, I need to make... Make more Constantin. All right, and we're gonna need. Okay, we're gonna need a chest. All right, Oop. we're gonna need a chest. We may need a tank as a buffer. Oh, we need. We're gonna need fluid ducts. Turn the light on. I had to. Didn't like how the sunlight was coming in. It's getting to that weird time of year. Um. So I need. How much do I have? Oh, I probably have enough fluid duct. Um. How much flux duct do I have? Might need. A little bit more of that. Oh, that's hardened. Okay, I want leadstone. We'll save the hardened for other stuff. Um, okay, so we've got some flux ducts. We've got some nickel. Some diorite bricks. Um, okay. All right, this is going to go over here because that'll be our input. Um, so we are. Should be outputting, and then this one should input. Auto input unavailable. 
Can I not? I might have to do this with... I was hoping I could just run one thing to the other, but I actually... I might actually... Hmm. I might have to do this with servos and fluidact, which would honestly kind of suck for what I want. Um... Uh, let's see if that's a thing I can fix by upgrading. Let's find out. Uh, mine crap. Fractionating still auto input unavailable. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, this still allows things to be pumped in, but doesn't seek out adjacent takes. So, uh, hopefully, auto output on the other one will let us do that. If not, um, there are ways around that. Uh, they're not ways I prefer. There are better ways to do this. But I'm hoping the crucible can just pump right in. And I'm hoping this can pump into the other thing. All right, and I'm going to need a compression dynamo. Uh, let's see, I think this might be done. Is this done? The pulverizer is done. So I can pulverize the stuff I need to pulverize. All right. And now we're going to turn our turn our system back on. Craft our grit and cook it. I literally cannot even imagine how gross it smells in here. <laughs> Like, it's got to smell so bad. Let's get these uh, done also. I think that's more nickel, actually. Something gives nickel as a byproduct, too. I'm just not, I don't actually remember what it is, but something gives nickel as a byproduct. We may put a second augment in the in the pulverizer to get uh, more stuff out. There's a more stuff out augment. Fractionating still. All right, I need a machine. So I need a tin gear. I need a machine frame. Glass. Darn it. Really, I just need to make a stack of glass. And we'll have to go looking for sand. Uh, so, whoop. Machine frame, go. Nickel gear, go. Constantin gear, Constantin gear. I think there's another glass. 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 Glass.
class. All right. Oh, I grabbed a piece of obsidian and fixed my shovel too. We are gonna go looking for obsidian here also. We're gonna need a lot of... Attempt to solve power and then, oop. That is super not what I wanted to put that. Uh, this is where I wanted to put that. Um, so that's going to want to output. That's not going to want to do anything. That's not going to want to do anything. This one's going to want to be input. Output. Input, output. Um, I think I'm going to want that because I'm going to want to pump it. Actually, I'm going to want to pump it out the side. Actually, I'm going to pump it. Who am I? No, I want to pump it out. I'm going to want to pump it out the top. Um, because I'm going to want to pump it out the top. How am I going to want to pump this? This is going to be super weird. All right. Um, well, first, let's get power to these things. Oop, I need to pull over one more. Actually, so what we can do um Um, all right, uh, we want to, uh, okay, this thinking, <laughs> the thinking, the thinking, <laughs> you know, instant thinking, 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 insert crack about smoke coming out of my brain here. All right, um, we have something resembling a proof of concept. Auto input, auto output. All right, let's, oh, I've got to feed the thing. Ah, stupid skeleton. My hat's almost dead. I need to do something about that. Darn it. Uh, I need some of this. Okay, I need a compression dynamo. 
All right, let's do this. Well, we wait for Mr. Skeleton to saw it off, which apparently is not going to happen. Do you need food? Thank you. So I can eat cooked squid. I can make a fried egg, noodles, toast, salt, onion rings. Um, ground beef, fried egg, carrot cake. French fries. What's this? Bacon? Beef jerky, potato. I don't know why it's not letting me make onion rings, but it's not letting me make onion rings. I'm missing something. All right. Go take a look at our proof of concept power gen mess. Ah, it's a baby zombo. Baby zombies are the worst. And I don't have my stupid jetpack on, so I can't get away from them. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because baby zombies are the freaking worst. Baby zombies are awful. Alright, I need food. Quickly. Do I have that I can I think I have some potatoes. Oh! I made them. They're over here in the oven. That makes not a lot of sense, but we're gonna stuff ourselves full of onion rings. Yeah, they have fairly good saturation. Delicious saturated fat, yo. All right, so we have compression dynamo. Oh, I forgot the stupid wrench, but it's gonna, because that's not where I wanted it. I want it here. I need the stupid wrench. Alright, I need the wrench. It's I, I know the game calls it a crescent hammer, but I'm sorry. That's a that's a wrench. <laughs> Something in before somebody says, actually, a crescent hammer is a real thing in the real world, which honestly I'm sure it is because uh, a lot of these guys and gals that do these mine, uh, Minecraft mod packs are pretty good about uh, having real world analogs for a lot of this stuff. So, all right, so auto input enabled. Okay, so that's outputting here. That's outputting here, quickly. Is that outputting here? Is that the nap that's outputting? Yay! This is working! Oop, crap. That's the way I want it. Where is the fluid duct? All right, so fluid duct goes in here and I don't think you can pump out the front. I'm actually, oh yeah, this is where we're gonna get a ton of sulfur. Uh, refined fuel, I want you to actually Okay, that works. It looks ugly as heck, but it works. I bet you there's a way to get rid of 
That wasn't it. Um, what's important is our dynamo is going the wrong way. Um, I'm wondering if we may be using more energy than we make. Okay. Because this is burning, this is burning. I think there's a way. I should look on ye olde interwebs and see if there is a way. Uh, new window. Um, remove extra, um, I don't even know what to call those. Item ducts. Right click on the connection with a crushing hammer or a near wrench to disconnect. Um, okay. Connection is probably, connection is actually probably the word that I'm looking for. Ha, yes, that is precisely what I want. All right. Yay, this looks way better. I like this. I like this a lot. Is this thing full? It's going to be full pretty close. Uh, I bet we could upgrade these a little bit. Because they're only outputting 40 RF a tick. I mean, it's filling up nicely. Tar, which also can be burned, which I think can be burned in here. Yeah, ha 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 ha. I can burn this in the steam dynamo. All right, let's just uh, cook the rest of this. Okay, so it's, Taking refined fuel, this is net positive. This is almost full. This is gonna burn tar. Which is fantastic. This is gonna give us more sulfur than we know what to do with, which is also fantastic, okay. Probably gonna need to go look for some more. Um, I see. Oh, we're full. Okay. Probably gonna need to go look for some more of that stuff. Um, but we've got we're good on power for now. Uh, da 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 da. Let's go fix our shovel. Actually, how much lapis do I have? Really? 
I had more. I got a bunch of lapis. Where'd it go? That's super weird, because I know I picked up lapis when I went downstairs. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the mining. We're going to get our portal to the mining dimension going, because that is super cool. Um, that is unbelievably weird. All right. Um, All right, so uh, let's do the mining dimension portal. So I want to show you what that looks like. Oh, up here, buried my chat when I went and looked at stuff in uh, on Minecraft. Cannot believe I only have seven lapis. That is. Crazy. Crazy. All right. Um, portal brick. So I need stone and I need this thing. What do I not have? S chiseled stone. Oh, I think I need... Um, I think I actually just need to do what the oh I need a fresh stone pick doesn't let me use the one that's all goofy um Does it want a fresh flint and steel? It might. Okay. Yeah, that's what it wants. All right. All right, so. Thirteen, fourteen. All right. Um. All right. Let's go build this thing. Do I have my jetpack back on? I need my jetpack. I want my jetpack. I want my mining stuff. We'll get these dealt with. We'll get rid of these. How many? So let's make a couple of hammers. Uh, iron hammer. Make a couple of those. We've got some food. Extra cobble. Um, I think this... I don't think it needs to be lit to get started, but I don't remember. Oh, let me close Safari. Try to save a few processor cycles. And we need to start working on and we'll start I think we'll do some we'll spend we'll probably spend most of next week terraform or so next week um oh god there's two of you ffs um and there's one of you
I would really like it if you'd have fallen in that hole, actually. All right. It is literally the exact same type of thing. Okay, uh, maybe I do have to light it. Oh no, I have to hit it with that stupid wand that I made. That is exactly what I have to do, okay. I have to actually hit it with the wand that she used to make the portal. Oh, okay, I guess that's... you hear the water. You're just not sure if it's going to come rushing through or not. And that's like the last thing I want is for the water to come rushing through. Actually, I don't think it will. And then we'll come back in and we'll fill this all in with uh, dirt, but I want this sand because we desperately need um, sand to make glass. We'll grab some dirt and fill this in. And now I can start solidifying experience because I have a good place to store it. Uh, I should probably take a bow and arrow with me. No dog, you need to sit. No dog, yo, you need to stay here, dog. There. That'll help a little bit. Get rid of this, because this totally doesn't need to be cobble. This should be dirt. All right. Fill this in a little bit. I forgot to grab the wand, didn't I? I sure did. Because I... I'm good at video games. I am awesome at video games. There. Let's go grab the stupid wand. I'm pretty sure I made a stack of glass. I did, all right. I don't even know what that stupid thing is called. Uh, mining multi-tool, okay. Door. Squid friend. I'm pretty sure you have to click it with the mining multi tool to turn it on. And then I know you have to sneak through it. Oh my gosh. Seriously. 
Mobs, please. So many mobs. He better not have blown up my thing. He did blow up my thing. Ah, stupid creeper. Luckily, I can light that back up. All right, uh, so we're gonna have to fix that because otherwise, oh my gosh. All right, the mining dimension. Very cool place, as soon as it loads. So the mining dimension is, ex so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set a waypoint because it's very flat. And it's very featureless. And it's super easy to get turned around. So this is it. This is the mining dungeon. So this is why it's so good for farming mobs is because it is flat and flat and flat. So you can see the mobs coming from like miles away. Got a ravine happening here. Might be a good place to start mining, actually. Um, B crystals. Put this back here. Can bounce my way over here, see what's going on. Uh, so I can't sleep here, is the only thing. Um, you cannot sleep in the mining dimension. Oh, it's a forge. It's cool. Uh, just like the nether, if you try to put a, uh, hello, dude. Oh. Oh. It's desperately trying to load the mining dimension for me. Um, take the food and the crystal. I don't need the drill core. Clay. It's like, hey, hey. If I try to sleep here, it's going to blow up. Nitwit. Really? Nitwit? Farmer. He'll trade stuff. Um, probably useful. Uh, some berry bushes. Some formations. Some trees. Some mobs, passive mobs, pigs, I think. Yeah. Pigs and sheep, maybe? Yeah. So it's good for Enderman hunting because you can, um, you can see really far away. And what I'll end up doing is I'll be building myself a little fake portal out of dirt or blocks or something that will allow me to... Uh, stand. So if you stand up here, uh, Ender friends can't reach you. So that is definitely a thing that you want to do. All right, we're actually going to use this as the beginning of our mine. I like that plan. Uh, where are torches? Also, where is this. Let's put stuff. Let's put stuff that we don't need right now in the satchel. Uh, the daisy can get planted. Put it right there. Um, all right. Okay, so pick is one. Sword is two. And torches need to be three. I want... Um, Do a little, oh, ooh, this is a kind of a neat little cave system here. All right. Torches on the right, so we can keep track of where we've been. Wow, this heck of a cave. Okay. 
Okay, this might not be where we want to start a mine, actually. But I do like this cave system. There's a lot to explore here. But yeah, probably not necessarily where we want to start a mine. It's all planes is the kind of the, the, the downside. So it's not like I'm going to be finding sand and sand-based resources like, say, the bitumen that we so love. I mean, it's mining here is really not that different than mining in the overworld. Um, so honestly, at the end of the day, we're probably air crystals. But this is definitely a good place to grind. Um, grind. This is more of a good, for me at least, it's more of a good place to grind mobs than it is necessarily a place where I'm going to like super concentrate my mining efforts. Even with torches on the right, I still can't find my way out. We will grab some metal though. I can't remember if uh, or. I need to look. I can't remember if ore has a higher uh, generation rate in this, in the mining world than it does in the overworld. Okay, so it's sunset, so we probably want to get home actually. Because I am not kitted out for mob farming. So what we'll probably do, honestly, is go a different direction. We'll we'll do a, a a mine, but we'll go a different direction. But yeah, so you can see, I can see for miles as mobs start to spawn. So different types of creepers, ender zoo creepers that drop the little ender eyes that will actually smelt into a ton of uh, ender pearl. Uh, we need to come back here and fix that, but we'll do that in the daylight. We need to do a lot of terraforming, like a lot of terraforming. So much terraforming. All right. I'll sleep real quick. All right. Um. Let's put some stuff away. Let's grab a whole bunch of dirt. Start filling in over here. Do some processing. This is almost full. It is. All right, so this is full. This is full. All right. Don't think I can squeeze item duct in here, unfortunately which kind of stinks because that would be super awesome if I could. So everything's making power. Um, one of those gave me gold. That's pretty awesome. It wasn't quite done. 
I mean, granted, we do have those going pretty darn fast. All right. Oh, doggo. Doggo's like, but I want to go play. You cannot come play. I want you in a house where you are safe. Because you are dumb, and you will go after stuff, even though I don't want you to. And that's how doggos end up not... <laughs> that's how doggos end up being ex-doggos. Oh god, why are squid friends so stupid? Oh, you know what else I should go fill in? This mess. What the heck? Oh, it's flowers, okay. Oh, Zombos, please. Oh, hi. Don't you just love it when they line up? All right. Pretty sure that's the entrance to my like to my mine shaft. But I probably need to torch this area a little just to lighten up the lighten it up so mobs don't spawn here. Okay, so, but what's important is that now I can get to my various portals. The noise that the nether portal makes is so unbelievably creepily awesome. Like you can hear lava bubbling. Good grief! Um... Check us because I hit the. All right. I'm pretty sure a bunch of them are underground. So hopefully they'll despawn at some point. Let's do something with this mess. Um, this is the entrance to the sh to the mine. Um, okay, so this we can close this off here. Assuming I don't end up tunneling a lot of this out later. So we can shut that there. Um, I can leave that cavern open. This mess is what we want to fill in right here. I mean, we have, 
we have tons of dirt and we're going to be making tons more when we start uh, knocking down mountains. We said next week I think is going to be all about finishing the base build. At least Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> And then we'll see where things go from there. Uh, I keep forgetting that next week is when the schedule's gonna change. Um, how much is gonna change, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously it's gonna change. I'm not gonna be streaming every single day. There's just, it's just not gonna happen. I can pretty much guarantee you there's not gonna be a stream on Wednesday because that's my first day. And I'm going to be absolutely wrecked because I haven't seen that early in the morning in excited outside of Kansas Fest, which is special, and I'm running on adrenaline, which makes it not seem like it's six, you know, six thirty in the morning when I'm waking up. I haven't seen six thirty for a couple of months, so until my body fixes itself, I will be wrecked. Gravy. What's this? It's another cavern. How many caverns? Jeez. Um. Well, that would explain where so many of this stuff, so much stuff, is coming from. There's so much light down there, probably because the sun's getting to it. All right. Um. Whoa. Um, it's a very lovely cavern, but I really, really don't want to mess with it. At some point, you have to cut. You figure, you know, you've got figure where you're resources are coming from and realize that you, you're probably gonna have multiple sources for your resources and you don't need to leave every single hole open and I'm sure as we start to tunnel into the mountain we're gonna find all kinds of interesting things like I'll happily leave that open I need more dirt More stacks. We'll also need to work on the water problem. Uh, is it sunset already? It sure is. Definitely don't want to be out here in the dark because we've already discovered that we have a big problem with things that go bump in the night. Bumping around in the night. May move that tree. I may leave the tree. All right, 
let's go because we're also going to need some sunlight to kind of see what we're doing that would help Alrighty, definitely want to clean this up a little bit too. Excuse me, Squidward. Excuse me, Squidward. Squid! Squid, please. Squid, squid, please. All right, so we got a nice sort of, that's better. All right, let's see what we got going on over here and how we want to fill this in. So we're going to leave this pretty much where we found. I think I'm going to get rid of this, actually. So that's going to, the leaves will decay here shortly. Um, uh, how do I want to do this? I think I want to fill in all of this actually. Probably should get some cobble too. So maybe it looks a little bit better. Oh well, I'm always I'm out of dirt again. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna level this all off. Ah, I like this better though. I like this ability to boop, boop right over here and boop right over there. All right. Also because I'm extraordinarily curious. All right, it's full. So it's full, that's full. That's starting to fill. That's that's what we want, actually. So power gen. So this is even um perfect. Alright. So and this is gonna start to fill now. Excellent. 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 So we have 8 million RF in reserve. All right. All right, clean up the edges of this cave a little bit. That looks good. All right, so the saplings are starting to go away. That's uh, the leaf decay is starting to kick in. Let's fill in from here.
This is starting to starting to get somewhere. Make the world what you make the world what you want it to be. One block at a time. I mean, let's fill in a hole at a time. And then we'll I mean we'll put some we'll put some of these flowers back, obviously. Um I mean obvi we're gonna put the flowers back. This magical uh forest that we've chosen to uh make base camp in. Alright, so yeah, that's Definitely a thing. Chickens popping out here. The egg noise I love. I don't know. Come on, computer, keep up. Your server grade hardware, you can do this. You're a Mac Pro, you can do this. You can keep up with me playing Minecraft and streaming at the same time. I promise you, you can. All right, so yeah, this is so we've got easy at we've got these flow, uh, we've got our portals. We've got easy access to a couple of these caves that we wanted to make sure we still had. Uh, but we don't have big gaping holes to fit it, fall into anymore, which I kind of like. All right. Just so it looks a little bit there. I mean, some of the, I can guarantee you that some of this mountain is coming down. I just don't know how much, and I'd rather, well, to here, obvi. Um, so we're going to deal with that at some later point in time. All right, so that looks, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. All right, so we used up quite a bit of dirt too, which is super helpful. Creeper pie, ew. Doesn't even sound good. Oh, do I have stuff in the satchel? Oh, that's where all the, I have stuff in the satchel. Right, I had stuff in the satchel. Also, I knew I had gotten more lapis. But the food goes in the food. The food goes in the food spot. Food goes over here. Creeper pie is food. That and that go there. That goes there. All right.
this is also nice being able to just auto just burn through crafting torches is super nice burning through crafting anything is super nice um how's my helmet look not great All right, so we need just to figure out uh, where we're gonna put our greenhouse and where we're gonna put our workshop. So this is, you can see, this is where I, I've determined that I want to hollow out to. I'm gonna hollow out this way. I think the workshop's gonna end up being over here and the greenhouse is gonna end up being over here. I'm gonna, this is as far, and then I'll put the wall. Like this is probably where the wall is gonna end up right here. So we can, we probably, uh, really, really, really want to get into Signalum. It requires some more machines. Um, Signalum requires, um, I think it requires another magma crucible to liquefy um, redstone. If I remember correctly, Signalum blend is three copper, a silver, and destabilized redstone, which is. Uh, destabilized redstone is a whole lot of that. All right, so I need a an a magma crucible. Need another magma crucible. Magma crucible. All right, I need more, uh, okay, what don't I have? I have nothing. I need, I need obsidian by the truckload because I'm gonna need it to make the dust too. So let's go downstairs and do, we'll do some mining before we end the stream here in the not too terribly distant future. All right, so, poor chicken. Water source blocks. Place a bunch of water blocks. Feel like I may end up drowning that chicken. Sometimes a jetpack is just very utilitarian. Hey, Raven! We snorch crafting! Uh, yeah, I know. Crucible up some redstone, right? Yeah, that reminds me of another crucible I have to deal with. But hey, welcome to the chat. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I've been super hyper-focused on not dying, sorry. <laughs> uh, I know, right? Uh, we're going to go mining, though. Yeah, you have to, you have to uh, liquefy redstone in this pack. 
to do stuff. Oh, yeah, that's next week for me, man. Um, a week from a week from yesterday. So a week from today, I will be 16. And oh, and then a week from today is back to school day. So I will be 16. A week from right now, I will be 16 kinds of exhausted and probably drooling in my bed face down. Ugh. So I sympathize. Uh, da -da -da -da. Not looking, kind of looking forward to it in a way, but also looking forward to, uh, you know, next June. I have to remind myself that cool things are going to happen during the year. Like, you know, Moon's Haunted is going to happen, and that'll be fun. Um, we, so teachers start, teachers start um, next week. The kids start two weeks from today. So the kids still have two weeks. The teachers start about a week early because we have to do things like uh, get our classrooms ready. Uh, supposedly, there's a bunch of trainings we have to go to that I'm super not looking. F I'm not looking forward to going back for that. I'm looking forward to the kids getting there. But the trainings, I could, you know, which is pretty typical. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my classroom in order, too, because that's always I enjoy putting my classroom in order. Ooh. I need a silk touch pickaxe one of these days. Yeah, basically. That's, yeah. I don't care what job you're in, training is always blah. Like, every, you know, every, any job ever, if you have to go to training, it's generally some flavor of blah. So, uh, it is what it is. Every now and then, I'm surprised pleasantly surprised when a training ends up being useful. But it's all good. Yeah, every now and then you get one that's like, ah, I can actually use that stuff. Oh, nice. I wish somebody would pay me for two weeks to go blow stuff up or learn how to not blow stuff up as the case may be. I wonder if I could get recertification for that. That'd be, <laughs> how'd you get points? I learned how to not blow stuff up. I mean, uh, a few summers ago, I took a class in using Minecraft in the classroom. So I literally got um, training points for playing Minecraft all summer. I don't know how much I learned that I could, you know, that I'm going to, I learned a few things to apply to my classroom, but mostly it was scaring a bunch of normies. Not, yeah, that would be like the best. What's first age? I wonder what that's, what pack that's from. That would be actually super cool. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's, I still love my job, no matter how much insanity tends to come with it. It's still a good gig. I get to have fun. And it's still fun. Like, I know so many uh, fellow educators that could literally retire anytime they wanted, but keep doing it because it's still fun. And they're still super excited to get up in the morning and come to school and, and work with kids. So that's a fun, that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, I have fun. I enjoy 
for the most part, I enjoy what I do. I mean, there are, you know, it's still a thousand times better than uh, when I was working in the corporate arena. I still say uh, the worst day, the worst day at school is still better than the best day when I worked in Corplandia. So, I mean, take that as you will. I don't want uranium. It's useless in this pack because it doesn't have reactors. Because big reactors or extreme reactors is like super OP and I totally understand why Serafina did not put it in this pack. But it makes that particular resource uh, kind of useless actually. I'm going to clean up this mine. But yeah, I'm just uh, doing some chill mining, killing time before um, Tinker Taylor gets going, which pretty soon I want to see more of building this replica Apollo thingy. Ah, that's a lot of gravel. I hate gravel. And besides, I can't wait. It's pretty, you know, I I did finally order this year's Destiny shirt. So soon I'll be, when that gets here, I'll be able to wear it and be like, how many of those skirt shirts do you have? One for every year I've been playing. My parents, well, <laughs> I, well, they just, uh, they just took some of the requirements down for Solstice, which I am super hype about because that means I'm actually effectively done with Solstice. Well, I mean, you've got some extra time. They put Moon's Haunted off by a couple of weeks. Yeah, they the one thing that everybody was complaining about, they actually fixed. Like, uh, you know, hashtag Destiny Soapbox. I am super excited with the fact that they seem to, now that they're not beholden to Activision, they seem so much more responsive to the community. And I'm not sure if that's a function of Activision would never let us or we're trying to suck up to you, but either way, I'll take it. I will 100% take it. I've heard very good things about Fast and Furious. A bunch of people I on my uh, various friends lists have seen it. And I've heard nothing but good things. I heard it's just a really fun, th uh, it's a summer popcorn movie. And uh, I, so, oh, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just taking the opportunity to dump on Activision because I, I try not to miss an opportunity to dump on Activision. Because there was a time when Activision was the developer's developer. I mean, if that's that, that is precisely why it's everybody says it's good because it's fast cars and explosions, and it doesn't try to be anything it's not. So it's yeah, you know, that is precisely what you're you are I think getting exactly what you're you're expecting. Oh my gosh, gravel plus. Please, Gravel, please, get up. I don't need more stones with shiny speckles. Um, pick up the stone with shiny speckles. Probably can go throw a bunch of this in the, into the sea. I need to go find the sea. The sea is, the sea is this way. But yeah, yeah, back to what I was saying. I just, um, I know because I know about Activision's history and I know that there was a time like Activision was the developer that uh, Activision was founded by developers who weren't getting any love from Atari. So I guess like part of me is kind of irritated that 
they're so like irritating now because like Activision games way back when were always better than first party Atari games. Oh, okay. I I know your industry, but um I've met it I also don't know how old you are. And I've met some uh youngins in the industry who don't know their roots. And I uh, or I've also I've met youngins who want to be industry who don't know their roots and I take great pleasure in reminding them about their roots. Because we got to know this stuff, guys. But yeah, like, you know, someday I'd like to meet some of the original. Whoa, okay. Um, we're going to be like that, are we? Someday I'd like to meet one of the original four. I think that would be super, super awesome. But I think that'd be more uh, an Atari convention thing than an uh, Apple convention thing. And I don't think there's, a, I don't know if there's an Atari version of Kansas Fest or not. Uh, I don't think there is. I think VCF, v, uh, uh, Vintage Computer Festival is probably as close as I'm gonna get. But yeah, it's just a thing where, or I, you know, like, you know, all the, I, I, when I'm doing career stuff with my students, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be when you, when you want to be? I want to be a video game designer. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that Kansas Fest is pretty unique among vintage computer or Apple in general, because Vin uh, VCA, uh, Vin uh, Apple Festival France is happening, I think, this weekend. And if you think K-Fest, I mean, they're only a weekend, but it's in France, and it's at, like, an orchard or a winery or something. And all I know is every time they post pictures of, like, the food, the food looks so much better than cafeteria food. All right. So, but yeah, that's tomorrow. So tomorrow is retro. Tomorrow, ah, why did the water not do the water thing? Why are you not moving? Water, water please, do the thing. Do the spreading thing, there we go, all right. All right, and I do want to leave some holes here open for me to dump cobblestone into. Shame holes, always useful. Because I need obsidian to make, I need to pulverize the obsidian and I also need to fix my tools with it. All right, uh, fine, we're going to be this way, are we? All right. This was a very deep. All right. Um, smoking. There we go. Except I think that I'm about to call it here just because, like I said, the uh, one, this computer, the Mac Pro is putting out rather a lot of heat on my legs, and I'm starting to get a little, a little warm because I I had it going about an hour before I started streaming. Uh, also, I want to watch uh, Tinker Tailor Solder Fry, which starts here in a couple minutes. So once I get back to the house, because we always we always log off in the house, so we don't log on the next time and we find ourselves. Where am I? I have no idea. Oh, that looks so much better! I'm so excited. Dog, dog plus. Okay, so we're gonna call it there for today.
Uh, so tomorrow, Retro Friday, we're going to spend some more time in uh, Total Replay. We're going to, uh, I think, definitely going to play some of the more. Uh, there are a couple more. We played Chain. Uh, we played Blockchain last week, which uh, Option Eight wrote recently. Uh, there's another game called Alien Downpour that I want to kind of get into because that's another recent addition to the Pantheon that was written uh, for Apple's 40th anniversary. Uh, Snacking on Software has put, the, uh, put out some really cool stuff. He's working, I think he's working on a, I want to say he's working on a Defender clone right now, but Snacking on, it, it's one guy and he does some um, awesome awesome work. So we're definitely and uh, we'll see what else. Maybe we'll Try Karateka some more. I don't know. We can. I can fail at, at saving the princess. I'm going to save the princess. I'm super. I'm going to save her. One of these years. Uh, so that'll be. And then um, over the weekend, I'm going to try and get on and finish terraforming our base area, so that I can. Um, we can log on next week and maybe build our workshop and get started with some of the other mods. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, Raven, thanks for coming. I'm so happy to see someone on my stream. Uh, well, seeing anybody on my stream makes me super happy. Um, and I will see you all on Monday until then. Thanks for watching.